I'm live and I'm hustling. Today is hustle day. Some people erroneously call it Tuesday, but hustle day is a way of life, not a day of the week. And I want you to notice something this morning before we really begin, begin. You ever notice that kind of the same people check in first thing in the morning here? Joachim, Justin, Joe Williams, Cynthia Mannion, Coach Phil. You know what they have in common? They're all successful. Consistency breeds success. When you are consistent at what you value, when you are consistent at what you love, when you are consistent at helping others, when you are consistent providing the service that your customers expect, you're going to be successful, period. Have you noticed more and more now that people are sort of emphasizing service rather than simply the situation that they have? They're touting that they're great at service because service in the main in this country sucks. Even the airlines are pretending that they like you. They're dropping fees. They're saying, come on, please. That's because their business is down. If their business was up, they'd be milking your cow in your backyard. I'm looking for consistency and I'm looking for sincerity. So consistent sincerity is something that's very rare in this country, and you know it. You can post about it if you want to. But my real feeling about that is that something's going on right now that I've never seen before in the country. Something amazing. There's a kind of a bond that's happening with businesses that are trying to band together to emerge successfully. Some of the businesses in this country have taken a massive hit. I mean, a massive hit. Bars, restaurants, hair salons, places that require people to people. Scary. But we're about to recover. And we're about to recover big time. And your job is to be ready in the recovery process. So I asked you as my opening statement this morning, what's different about today? And the answer is nothing unless you make a difference or better stated, you make a difference. You can do that because you're capable of helping somebody today beyond what they were expecting, of doing something today for someone that they were not expecting by being of service in a new and better way. For somebody to go, wow, thanks. Like, not thanks, wow, thanks. Can you get a wow thanks today? I wonder. And you're having to do that in the middle of masks and and all kinds of crap about it. you got to stand six feet away from somebody else. And you go to the supermarket, it looks like everyone's going to hold the place up. But I have a feeling that's going to go away because the numbers are starting to get better and the pandemic is starting to wind down. And at some point, they're going to say you don't have to wear a mask anymore. I hope. And I, I have a feeling you hope the same thing. But the challenge that you have right now is that what is happening right now is up to you to make a difference. And all you have to do is make a difference to one. If everyone made a difference to one other person, this would be a better place today than it is or it was yesterday. Way better. And do it in a happy, professional, ethical, legal way, please. Don't take things that don't belong to you. Don't do things that your mom wouldn't be proud of you for. So that's my uh, message of encouragement and contempt at the same time. But I have a feeling that everyone who's on this particular broadcast wants to do better and wants to be better. And my job is encourage you to be able to make that step, take, take take that step, make that statement, do that thing, take that action, do that deed that will give you a competitive advantage simply because 
you're providing value to other people. Just that simple. And I think when you do that, not if you do that, when you do that, you'll begin to see the same results that I'm seeing. My consistency, being on live every day since March the 16th, April, May, June, July, August, September, six months of consistency has provided me with an amazing global audience that I'm so grateful for. I don't know how to say thanks. I say thanks as much as I can every morning. But I think more important than that is the thanks that you are going to provide to other people and the gifts that you're going to provide to other people and the value that you're going to provide to other people because now is the time. Now is the time. And you can do it. You don't have to be blessed with some amazing superpower. You just have to be blessed with your own power and to take advantage of that. So make a list of five people today. Make a list of five people that you believe in your heart you can help or that you believe that you need to reconnect with and go out there and do it. What the hell are you waiting for? Now is the time. And now is the time for you to take advantage of you and your strength and your character. You have blessings and you're not using them. You have the ability to help other people. You have the ability to serve other people in a way that you have not done up to this point in time because you're scared or you think you need to wear a mask or you, you know, you're mandated to wear a mask. Come on, it's over. It's time for you to get out there and do the right thing by the right people in the right way, period. You do that, you're going to win. You don't do that, you're not going to win. I can also tell you that every time I see a police officer or a military soldier or a fireman, I walk up to them, look them right in the eye, and thank them for their service. And I think you need to do the same thing. Other than that, I'm fine. How are you? Uh, Justin, good morning. How's the baby? Uh, JR, dude, in the neighborhood. You set the goal and then you'll see you do not see <laughs> exactly. You set the goal and then you'll see you do not see what you do not see first. Phil, good morning. You would rather find purpose than a job or a career. Purpose crosses disciplines. Purpose is an essential element of you. It is the reason that you're on the planet at this particular time in history. Your very existence is wrapped up in the things that you are here to fulfill. Whatever you choose for a career path, remember, the struggles along the way are only meant to shape you for your purpose. Whoa. Very powerful. Howdy from hell. Is will force a purpose that enables a man to do or be whatever he sets his mind to on being or doing Samuel Smiles? Now, for those of you who don't know, Samuel Smiles is the, is the founder, literally, of the personal development movement. His two books, Character and Self-Help, in the 1850s, published in Great Britain, are the foundational documents upon which Dale Carnegie, Napoleon Hill, uh, Earl Nightingale, you name it, you name the guru, they all came from Samuel Smiles. Horace and Sweat Martin came from Samuel Smiles. Robert Collier came from Samuel Smiles. All the people who wrote early came from character and self-help. Isn't it amazing? Do you own those books? Can you get them? Well, well, we'll talk about that later. Williams, you need to kick your own ass. The Insiders Club can help. This week's challenge is a good one. I have back-to-back -back coffee meetings set up for tomorrow, one virtual, one in person. Needs are there for both. Sales will be made. Dude, that is so powerful. In the Insiders Club, I give a weekly challenge to every member and participant. And I challenge you to take the challenge and turn it into money. All you need to do is go to the Insiders Club. I'm going to put it right down right here. G-I-T-M-E-R.com, gitmer.com slash Insiders Club. 
all you got to do, I'm going to be giving another webinar soon. I'm not sure exactly when, but it'll be to solicit new members for the Insiders Club. I mean, come on. It's my gig. And I think that your job is to be consistent, provide value, and win. Consistency breeds positive outcomes. Jeffrey Gittimer, you might want to take this quote and post it someplace. Because your consistency, I'm setting a standard for consistency, not an example. I'm setting a standard. I'm, I'm a guy, I got plenty to do all day long, but I dedicate a half an hour to everybody around the world in the morning to encourage them to be better, do better, be more, do more, earn more, be more successful, be happier, be more content, be a better family person, hang out with the people you love. Come on. That's my mission. And, and I would ask you, how am I doing so far? And the answer is, I know how I'm doing. I get to wake up in the morning and be me. And people that are claiming the sky's falling and all the other bullshit, they got to wake up and be them. <laughs> Seriously? We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. The only question is, how are you going to be? That's, that's the real question. How are you going to be? And Memphis is here and... Hustle Tuesday, gotta love it, exactly. And people from all over the planet are here this morning. The great Doug Wing is here from Little Giant Ladder fame. And uh, come on, boom, boom. Everyone's here, they're announcing that they're here. Isn't that cool? Isn't that cool? I love when people announce that they're here. And I don't, you know, you can't scroll down one by one. Unless, I don't know, if you're here, Walls, and you can tell me how I can do that one by one other than clicking myself, I would love it. Good morning from Taco Tuesday in Los Angeles. The evolution of video has become the revolution of video. Video and going live is no longer optional. It's essential. Jeffrey Gittimer from my new book, Go Live and Go Get It. Consistency is the fuel for success. Ernest, good morning. I'm not a regular because I'm always busy hustling. Ernest, I respect it completely. Oh, my gosh. Look at all the people that are here. Hey, Dan, how are you? What a difference. Yeah, my lights are halfway working. The electrician came yesterday. for those who follow the – my lights went out. Well, it turns out that it's one fixture in the front of my office. It's still dark. I have to get a replacement for it. But half of my lights in my office now work. And I'm happier. Am I still in the same location? Yes, I could turn it around. I think I'll do that tomorrow. So you can see a little bit more of the library. Uh, and people saying hello to everybody. Consistency breeds success. Andrew, you are correct. Paul, good morning. Isn't it cool people from all over the, all over the world check in? Even New Jersey. Popularity does not equal success. Always remember that. Tara Counterman. Ooh, and Tara, by the way, has written the forward to my new book, Go Live. She is the queen of podcasting. Profitable podcasting is how her, how her handle is, and she's damn good at it. And she's going to be giving a master class in the Insiders Club. Be there. Good morning from Toronto. Exactly. Fellow hustlers. I love fellow hustlers. Yep. Daniela. Exactly. My husband came across a terrific article you wrote in 1982. He is now committed on being a sales crusader. Perhaps you could remind people how important it is to stay focused and look for the opportunity. I was at the Dallas airport when I noticed a guy I met from a t-shirt manufacturing company. Yeah, exactly. Um, <sighs> unbelievable. The, the story, just briefly, um, I just came out of a, a conference, and this is 1980-something, 81, maybe 82. No, 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 earlier than that. I came out of a conference, it was 1973, from the t-shirt industry. I'm at the Dallas airport, it was brand new. I see a guy swearing at the, there was a change machine for uh, money. And it kept like a nickel or a dime. <laughs> Jippers. And 
he's like banging the machine. I said, what happened? And I kind of recognized him from the trade show. I said, what happened? And he goes, ah, oh, the machine, he's all swearing. I said, well, what do you need? He goes, well, I need money now. So I gave him a hundred bucks. I said, you don't, you hardly know me, but I saw you at the trade show. I'm sure you're okay. Here's my, here's my hundred bucks and here's a card. I'm um, just send it back when you can. The next day, I had a hundred dollar bill in a FedEx envelope from the guy. Three weeks later, he calls me up and says, hey, you do you do printing, right? Contract printing? Oh, yeah. He said, listen, I just got the contract for the, oh, it was the 83. It was for the 84 Olympics. And I wonder if you'd like to print the T-shirts. 1.6 million T-shirts I printed for the 80. I printed every shirt for the 1984 Olympics because I gave a guy 100 bucks when he needed it. Think about it. Random acts of kindness pay. Every single time any questions on that so far and that in that a, it's an amazing story i mean that and richard greaves <laughs> launched my success in the t-shirt business forever <clears throat> love richard if you're out there hello good morning yep i'm here at 9 59 thank you toru is here now we are complete thank you toru for being here good morning good evening good afternoon to you Wherever you are in the world, I know where you are. You're in Japan. It's midnight. <laughs> Kicking my own ass. Perfect. Oh, wow. A couple of webinars and beginning Jeb Blunt's virtual selling boot camp in an hour. Way to go. Toru, good evening. Do people say Toru? Isn't that cool? Like he sees an international celebrity now. Peter in Stockholm, inspired and still immensely grateful for your consistency. You are the man. As consistent as Santa. <laughs> You know, well, we'll talk about Santa Claus when it's closer to Christmas. Good morning, everybody. Yes, good morning, Sneak. Good morning. Consistency along with persistency. I agree. I totally agree. Um, put a little bit more in, get so much more out. Michael Heppel, good guy. OS Martin, remember, it's your get toitiveness and your stick toitiveness. I can get that guy was so amazing and a disciple of Samuel Smiles. And if you look in my Truthful Living book, at the back, you'll see Napoleon Hill's recommended reading from 1919. And half a dozen of the books are from Arson Sweat Martin. Guess where Napoleon Hill was inspired from or who he was inspired by? Doo -doo. Though it may not seem so when you first encounter a serious blow. You can never lose two of the most important assets you have. Those are the power of your mind and your freedom to use it. That is so blessed powerful. Oh, unbelievable. The word hate, the, word, the world hates change, yet it is the only thing that has brought progress. Charles Kettering, for those of you who don't know, he was the guy in um, in Dayton, Ohio, who created Delco, Delco Radio, which was, he made zillions from General Motors for buying radios for their car and Ford for buying radios for the car. Charles Kettering, amazing guy, amazing entrepreneur. Okay, so uh, Anne from Manchester, Lancashire, Lancashire. My birthday today and working. Well, happy birthday to you. And you don't look a day over 21. How's that for nice? Isn't that cool? Good morning, all. Back in catch couch surfing. If you need translation work or litigation support services, add me on LinkedIn. Oh, cool. Totally cool. <laughs> Simple things, little things, heartfelt things. Your clients remember the most, Larry Levine. I love Larry Levine, by the way. And Anne is now going to get birthdays. We've already stopped wearing masks in Lubbock, Texas. Well, there you go. That'll tell you something. Share it out. Thank you. Thank you for sharing yesterday, by the way. I asked a bunch of you to share it out yesterday, and you did, and I'm grateful. And you might want to do it again today. If you were one of the ones that didn't share it yesterday, what the hell are you waiting for? Come on.
Dan, solid words. Kellen, hey, Jeffrey. I want to wow thank you for introducing me to Steve Rizzo. He's on my coffee talk today at 8 PST, which is noon hour time. Kellen, I think you have my text. Could you please text me the link to make sure that I'm on so I can bust Rizzo's balls a little bit? That would be the greatest. Do the hustle. Exactly. Exactly. Do, 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 do. No, that's the, is that the hustle? Hmm. Yeah. Do, 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 do. Morning, Sarah. Coffee. Cheers to you this morning. Can't wait for your video call tomorrow. Oh, it'll be there. Yes. Whoops. Too late. Giggle. <laughs> oh, my God. How can you act when nobody's watching? It is how you act when nobody's watching. It's exactly how you act and what you do. Oh, and Barrett says, thanks, Justin. The CBD oil is working well. Now you're talking. Save that one, Justin. Da -da 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 -da. Exactly. Exactly. And cheer coffee cheers. Me too, Brian. Looking forward to it. Now you're talking. I, I love going live in the group. I totally love it. I respect it. I honor it. I'm prepared for it. I'm rocking it. Wait till you see what's going to happen soon. Yep. 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 It's going to be epic. Get ready to laugh hysterically. Okay, cool. <laughs> My God. Thanks for setting such low expectations. Um, everyone is here. I'm people are using it's here. They're here. They're here. This is the power of the love thing. Benton, so glad to hear the CBD is working for you, Ann Barrett. Exactly. It, is, it definitely works. And hold on. The great Amy Spinks is here. Cool. This is amazing. Um, hi, Amy. Hope you are doing well. Good morning from Charlotte, Massachusetts. Just got a wow from a customer for the extra mile on the order. That is not only a great feeling. It's a loyalty. It's an omen for loyalty. Exactly. Exactly. Now you're talking. Now this is great. This is this is it. Now is the time to decide to watch Lipbox Leadership. Cool. I'm talking with Danny Short today about regional real estate and politics. I'm not sure you should talk about politics, but that's just my opinion. It snows in Norway, then hell freezes over. Oh my God, funny. On the beach, walking in Clearwater, home of the Philadelphia Phillies Grapefruit League team. Getting ready to see a friend I haven't seen in decades. This is so wonderful. I love that kind of stuff. I, I love that kind of stuff. How's mama doing? That's exactly what I want to know. How is mama doing? And here's the Insiders Club. For those of you who have not yet taken advantage of it, what are you waiting for? Wait, wait, wait. Hold on. Somebody's late to the dance. Late to the party today, but mighty hearty congrats to Justin on his new baby girl. And thank you both for the CBG by the sea in the mail. Boom. Justin is a giver. I mean, this kid is a, he's a giver. And it works. It's, it will come back. You know how things come back to haunt you? This is going to come back to help him. When you're a giver, things come back that you, no one pays you back. The world pays you back. If you don't measure who you gave to, like Justin's not going to remember, hey, I gave Pat Hazel a bottle or two of CBD oil. That's not what he. That's not what he's about. He's about giving. No specifics. No measurement. When you give without measuring, then the person you gave to, that, that, I don't have a cosmic debt with that person. The world pays me back. And they pay back times 100. Think about that. It's something extremely important. The Horner Apparel Group. Good morning to you, sir. I'm so happy you're in a suit. You look great. April Hoggins' mama is doing great. Thanks. She's a warrior. She had grace at home and is already lacing up her workout shoes. Oh, my God. That's phenomenal. At home. Oh, my God. That's phenomenal. Cheers from Purseville, Purcellville, Virginia. And Daniela, cheers back to you. 
Hold on. The sun rises every day, sets every day. You choose. <laughs> exactly. That's exactly correct, dude. What a great background picture. Look at the trees in the background. Phenomenal. Gratitude at 959. Agreed. Good morning from Syracuse. Scott, good morning to you. Hope you're doing well where it's freezing ass cold already. Spa. You should say a spa day. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Busy making virtual events memorable here in St. Pete, Florida. Happy for you. I don't know what your mug says because I can't read that well, but it looks like it's good. Ellie, I hope you're doing well. I hope you're doing well. Cynthia, the evolution of video. Oh, now you're talking. Okay, cool. Running a little behind, but made it. Good. Glad to hear. Whoa. Hold on a second. Glenn Morshower has just wished me Happy New Year from Texas. I stay in gratitude as a way of life. Yesterday, the police officers in front of us in a drive through bought our lunch. Random kindness is in consistent circulation. Unbelievable. Glenn Morshower, for those of you who don't know, is a kind of a movie star, television star, but just an acting star. I'm proud to have him on our show, and uh, we're going to be connecting very soon to try to get something rolling for the sales community in a way that it has never experienced before. Glenn, Lashana Tobo. It started with Mr. Smiles. Perfect. Amazing, helpful video. Thanks for sharing. My pleasure. Good morning and cheers to the Gitmer Nation. Thanks, Pat Hazel. We're so blessed and thank you for helping us launch Sales Boost CBG Oil. Let us know how it helps you. A video testimonial would be greatly appreciated, of course. From Pat Hazel, are you kidding me? It'll be funny as hell. <sighs> yeah, and Glenn gets good mornings. Is that cool or what? Yeah, exactly. Jackson, South End. Oh, my gosh. The South End is here. Jeff Jackson. We're supposed to have coffee on Friday, I think. Isn't that true? Let me know. Pat Hazel, the biggest difference from yesterday is that we are closer to the finish line even when we do nothing. Do things of value before the finish line sneaks up on you. Now you're talking. This is an amazing statement because... It applies to every single person on the planet, not simply the ones that are in this audience. We're cooking today. This is really a good one. Holly Vaughn, good morning, or good afternoon, or good evening, wherever you are in the world, and that's final. Not good. Great morning. Great afternoon. I, I think that um, everything is changing right now. Everything is looking at getting better right now. Yeah, exactly. You know what the best part about that story is? It's true. <laughs> Incredible story. I was 10 in 1984. Well, there you go, Corey. <laughs> um, whole other thing. Are you ready to reboot your life? Call today at 11. Cool. Sounds like an acronym to me. Good morning, Larry and Robert. I'm going to make an acronym for hustle. I'm telling you. And the H is going to stand for hungry. That's an amazing story. Yes, it is an amazing story. It was, it kept my factory running 24 hours a day, seven days a week for almost a year. Unbelievable. I mean, it was unbelievable. And the guy who installed our uh, multi-printer machines went on to quit his job and open up the biggest machinery manufacturing company on the planet for textile screen printing because of what he learned as an installer. Mm. So if you're out there, Rich Hoffman, howdy, howdy. I think that was pretty decent ROI on a hundred bucks. Exactly. And I didn't do it for the, you know, like if nothing would have happened, I still did the act. That's the, the thing to him. I didn't expect anything back from the guy. The next morning, I had 100 bucks back. But three weeks later, I had a contract for over a million dollars. Hmm. Think about it. 
Good morning. Be the reason somebody smiles today. Beautiful sentiment. That is a beautiful sentiment. All the way from Calgary. Great damn story. Well done. Do the right thing. Exactly. Got my 17 book. I haven't got my 17 book yet. Heppel, where's my book? Greg, Craig Garofolo. Good morning from Hunterdon County, New Jersey. I love all the new learnings on the Insiders Club. Plan on learning something new each day, every day in my life to be a better person, better for my family, friends, and clients. Also wanted to get back to you, Jeffrey, on my possible relation to the Garofolo you went to high school. Unfortunately, no relation. Oh, well, there you go. Um, in the meantime, Garofolo, I'll see you on the Insiders Club. Thanks for being my customer this morning. Let's see what we got going on here. A lot of stuff still. Happy birthday, happy birthday, happy birthday, Ron Goodwin. I gave a guy at Port Authority in New York City to help him buy a ticket home. He tried to pull the same scam on me a year later. Reminded him we were already friends. <laughs> oh, my God. Uh, and there you go. And there you go. I had a guy in, uh, in LaGuardia who tried to walk out with my suitcase. Like, dude, where are you going? You should go on Jeopardy. Yeah. Well, thanks. I used to play Jeopardy at home. We had, you get the home version and it comes with a like a clicker. And a bunch of smart guys would sit around playing. And whenever somebody got a good answer, we would everyone would click them as an applause. It's funny. My best answer was, uh, uh, and you can correct me if I'm wrong here, Toru. The answer was Japanese for divine wind. And the answer was, what is kamikaze? And all my buddies went nuts. Shared, thank you, shared. Hazel, thank you. Toru is the guru of how to you do. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> oh, my God. Come on, Hazel. Freaking great. Wait, see, listen, you know why his mind is so great? Because he practices. Because he does what he thinks. Because he has clarity. And because he thinks funny first. Now, I, mean, I'm, I don't want to put ideas in your head, Pat. If, if I'm not right there, you can correct me on it. But I'm telling you this. He is consistently hilarious on purpose. And then finally, it becomes internalized to a point where he does it involuntarily. He can't help but be funny. You can't help it. I have taught Gabrielle, little Gabrielle Gittimer, 11 years old, think funny first. That's the whole deal. That's the way you respond with a smile. You laugh. Yes, she's a little cynical from time to time, but I'm, let me tell you what. She's funny. Chuck, good morning. Learning how to get shit done. Thanks. My pleasure. Lewis, this is truly a global network. As a result of this group, we connected and now help a new client living in Saipan. O-M-G. This is phenomenal. I love that. I totally love that. And you know what? I, I know a secret. You like me talking to you. I love talking to you. I love making this whole episode interactive. Whole episode interactive. Um, this is amazing. And I, I got a, we're already at 1033. Like, what the hell is going on here? Uh-oh. Arson Swedmore in the original. FYI, if you want to learn something new, read a book that's over 100 years old. I totally agree. I am with Kellen at 11 a.m., not noon. Okay. Looking forward to you busting my balls. Rizzo, <laughs> your balls are easy to bust. You're like, you think you know everything because you're from New York. I'm stupid. I'm from Philly. We specialize in busting New Yorkers' balls. That's our that's our whole deal. Um, the Hustle, Van McCoy, Jimmy from Philly. Doing the hustle, thanks to Justin, CBD. That's cool. Best way to start the day with your live videos. Dude, you are correct. New day, same plan. Be better than yesterday. Boom. Boom. Look at this wisdom that's coming here. Hello from the UK. Hello to you, Debbie. Sunshine on my day off. Isn't that cool? So glad to hear it. 
I remember going to satisfy a craving for cheeseburgers at McD's. Ooh, there was a young family lying behind me. The father tapped me on the shoulder and told me his daughter liked my ha Mr. Happy T-shirt. And then she peeked at me from behind the father's legs. Wow. I was then a very muscular 240 pounds at 5'8". Am I? Oh, my God. Did he give her the shirt? That's what I want to know. Good morning. Rook Coffee in Monmouth County, New Jersey is awesome. Frank Farrell knows what I'm talking about. We're doing business together because of your live feed. Whoa, I love that. See, this is where it's at. Twyman provided me with a random act of kindness for which I will never forget. And I'm totally appreciative of to this day. Morning from Rochester, New York. The sun is out. I hope you are peaceful in Rochester, New York today. <sighs> I got it. We're getting great feedback from customers on. Yeah, exactly. Go for it, Debbie. Go for it, Debbie. Kellen. Hey, Rizzo. See you in 30. Oh, cool. All right. So we're we're out of here. Hope it comes down in the Flower City. You know, why is he doing this? If you want to see a difference, make a difference. It's that easy. It's simple, but it's not easy. It's simple to think about, but then you got to actually do. That's the deal. <laughs> this is unreal. This is just totally unreal. I had a virtual conference today in between classes, so I thought I'd check in with my friends. Good morning from Altoona. Oh, this is so good. This is so, so good. All right, you guys. Oh, my God. There's so many things. I apologize. Sherry! According to a Japanese legend, the Kamikaze Divine Wind was created by Reijin, god of lightning, thunder, and storms to protect Japan against the Mongols, one of the oldest Japanese deities. Ra Reijin is an original Shinto god, also known as Kaminari from, wow, this is so cool. Thanks. What a lesson. From Sherry Benner, the woman who gave me this picture of Richie Allen <laughs> that I keep right by my side. Just saying. Thank you. And for all of you who are out there from Fairport, New York, all the way to Haddonfield, New Jersey, I want to say thank you very much for being my customer this morning. I want to thank Glenn Morshower for stopping by, Steve Rizzo for stopping by, Pat Hazel for stopping by, and all of you who stop by on a regular basis. It's a phenomenal day here in Charlotte, North Carolina, even though we had a little bit of a, a tiff last night. Absolutely crazy what happened uptown. But check out the Insiders Club. I'm going to be there doing a lot of live stuff this week, and I will look forward to seeing you on the inside. Cheers, health, happiness, wealth. Bye until tomorrow at 9.59 a.m.